I'm about to go and get some new glasses and some cool sculpting. I have a mouth ulcer oh, right in there and it's so sore. Oh, it's so sore. I've had to use that um, sort of mouth numbing solution that they use for like oral surgery and now I can't feel like my whole bottom lip. So I'm probably talking funny, but that's okay. So I had to laugh. I like um, sat, I sat in my car and I found like down the little side console, this like empty bag, this like empty bag of Sour Patch Kids. Absolute weakness, hands down weakness. And I don't know why, because you know what? They, they don't taste like that good, but there is just something about them that is so addictive. And I was like, oh, I could go another bag of these right now. And I just had to laugh because it made me think of that episode of The Nanny where I think they were getting liposuction or something like Fran and um, her mom and the doctor's giving them chocolates. And they're like, but we're here for lipo. And he's like, eat it now, suck it out later. And I'm like, hmm, hmm, I can, I can see where he's coming from with that. <laughs> so will I stop by the service station to get lollies or will I be good? some new glasses at um, OPSM. Oh. Ugh. Just bought some new glasses. Um, I had some Ralph Lauren sunglasses that I purchased and don't smash into my fucking car. Oh, my god, you know when you like observe how people drive and it's like, how did you get your license? Um, and I'm just going to get the lenses replaced in these and my reading glasses. So I've just realized that it's lunchtime. I'm starving. I need lunch and I need coffee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I literally went to insert a 50 cent piece into the ticket machine and it fucking jammed. What is with my bad luck today? Oh, Jesus. You know how I was joking for that if I eat something shitty now, I'm going to get cool sculpting so it'll get sucked out later? Well. My friend Emma said to me that you should go to Sherwood because the coffee is amazing and get a little snack to eat because hey, it's lunchtime. So I went with her recommendation. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. The coffee is good and there is a very, very, very attractive man that works there too. So if that isn't a reason to go, like, come on people, come on. That was so good. Um, I told myself that I wouldn't eat the whole thing and in typical Peter fashion, I ate it all. And it was good and it was delicious and I don't regret a thing. I'm in my car at the moment trying to take my boots off because I always have this paranoia that I'm gonna have like stinky feet. Like I think that you're either a stinky foot person or you're not, but I just, I just don't want to get in there and take my shoes off um, and have stinky feet. So I'm just going to put my slides on now and then I'm going to walk up um, to Hunter Plastic Surgery and get cool sculpted, super excited, lunchtime lipo. I feel like I've already like worked off everything that I just ate. Lucky I'm the only person in the lift. <laughs> so I'm getting my love handles done. Oh, if you call it that, it's sort of, yeah, I guess love handles. So that is the machine for cool sculpting. Snacks. Yum, the lemon sherbets are insane. So I am just leaving Hunter Plastic Surgery now. I need to go and get mom a birthday present. I don't know if you can see the area that I've had treated. And I'm excited to see my results. 
So off to Myers. I go. It is freezing. I didn't want to put my jumper back on because I was worried that I was going to sort of transfer some of the markers. But yeah, one thing I hate about Australian winters, it is 4.30 and it is freaking dark. So yeah, not liking it, not fun at all. Um, but I think I'm going to get some mum some perfume for her birthday and then I'm probably going to go home and sleep. I've just gotten home. Um, you've missed your mum, haven't you? Haven't you? No, she hates me. So that is what I've had treated. Get down. Oh my God, she's so naughty. Um, it hurts. I'm a bit red, not too red, but it, it like, sorry, it, um, it, like, it only hurts if I touch it. So obviously like I don't, I don't have to touch the area, so I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to get ready. Oh, this is a disciplinary hug. This is a disciplinary hug. And I'm going to get ready and go out with my mom for some dinner. I missed you. I missed you.